is our eighth annual Back to School Block Party for Peace. Um, we're just happy to be here today. And we would like for everyone to come out and continue to support the Woodlawn community and the things that we have here at the Edward G. Urban Foundation. My name is Mel Flowers. I'm the bull mark of the Chicago Alumni Chapter of Cap Alpha Science. Today we're we'll doing our back to school block party. We've been doing this for a few years. The whole purpose is to provide backpacks, you know, for students that are going back, dental examinations, immunizations. We're also doing kidney screenings and diabetes screening, right, to make sure that we can service our community and bring health care directly to the community, right? We're also providing fun for the kids as well today too as well. So that's a game truck, a game zone for those who want to play games. But we're also providing food, fun, and refreshments. This is something that we love to do. It's all about you know community service when it comes to the things that CAP is focused on to inspire service in the public interest and also achieve. But thank you. Come on out. Have a great time. Yo, baby. A lot of kids are kids. I like a lot of the sharing. I want to do the uh, hair for the kids that this event. So when the camp was asked me years ago, I was, I was with and ready. Because I think, I think kids should be first. And they, and, and, uh, they deserve to get a good haircut. I have been very appreciative since the Capitals have moved into the 20th Ward because they've done everything to make sure to become part of the community but also to serve the community. Um, we live in a community where the median income is $25,000. And so any help that our families need, I appreciate organizations like the Capitol who come out, show up, and show out. I'm so appreciative of them. Um, I appreciate their, their uh, bi-monthly food giveaway and just their commitment to the young people who live not far from here in Parkway Gardens. And so thank you all, um, all the Taylor and the constituents of the 20th.